Arsenic Dynamics in Swiss placed near all mining sites in South Spain is a study conducted by researchers at the University of Muthia and University of Barcelona. The study area is the Sierra Minera de Cartagena, La Union and its area of influence. It is located in the southeast of the region of Muthia and is one of the most important sites of geological and mining interest in Spain. It occupies an area of about 10 in 5 kilometers that contains one of the largest concentrations of lead and zinc in Spain. Metallic contamination in mining sites with activity during long periods of time, some of them may be more than 4,000 years old, is extensive and high. The concentration of potential toxic element reaches very significant values, well above the background values found in these areas. The swine map shows high concentrations of arsenic in the anthropologic areas corresponding to the pollution sources and the damping areas such as Lopoyo Lagoon and Portman by the Mediterranean Sea. The soluble as forms are the ones that present toxicity problems for people and the environment. Starting from inorganic, arsenic and using different extractive media that stimulate different environmental conditions. We intend to obtain the spatial distribution of the risk in this area from the mobility values of arsenic in these media which is closely linked to the minerals present in each case. In this table, general features of the samples of this study are displayed. To highlight, the pH from mining minerals, air tailing ponds, mine dams and water causes. High levels of conductivity in all materials and limestone nature as predominant in those areas with mining influence. The composition of the mineral samples in this study obtained by X-ray diffraction is distributed into three groups obtained by K-means cluster analysis. Group 1 are materials of mining origin. These materials can constitute primary mineralization such as sulfide veins, pyrite, arsenic pyrite, etc or secondary mineralization such as hematite, goethite, citrate, gerosite, etc. and can even be found as a mineral phase forming various arsenics. Group 2 are water course related materials and group 3 are unaffected soils. This is the outline of the arsenic mobilization study. Uh, that was carried out. Applied extractions, affected phases, simulated environmental situation and the type of mobilization obtained. The results indicate a low mobilization of arsenic in almost all simulated media, the lowest for rainwater except in the citrate dithionite medium. Mera Jackson extraction which gives the highest value of arsenic, reaching in some samples to the 70% from the total obtained. This indicates that the greater risk of arsenic mobilization is in a nauseous conditions and with organic matter as it would be in wetlands. Map of an arsenic by zones. Based on the total arsenic, concentration values in the soil and the arsenic values obtained in the different extracted media. Zoning in four classes is made for the study area. The highest priority zone corresponds to zone 4 and the no risk zone is zone 1. This is the proposed scheme for the mobilization of arsenic in this zone. Particulate arsenic is associated both with ferrite oxides 
and hydroxides. Through surface adsorption processes on iron hydroxide particles and with carbonates through precipitation reaction as calcium arsenate. These reactions are evident in some places, such as wadis, that transport particulate and dissolved materials from areas affected by mining. It is noted that arsenic is the predominant species, only sites located in the wetland areas with permanent water lodging can show significant concentrations of arsenic. Thank you for attention.